So just now you have learned a non-parametric test to test the differences between two independent samples. So now we're going to learn another non-parametric test to test the difference between two pair samples. So the test we're going to use as an alternative for t-test is real cosine siren test. So we're going to calculate the t, which is the test score, one of the value which is smaller of the two value we're going to calculate later. It also depends on the rank, but the way that we calculate the rank is slightly different from the two independent sample. So in this case, my research question is to test whether there's a differences between the length of the right arm and the length of the left arm for the student in this class. So I took a sample of S students and then for each student, I measure the left arm length and also the right arm length. So this is my experiment design. After I have obtained the data, I organize in table. So this is the data that I have organized. Then after that, I'm going to summarize the data in a box plot. The next step is to choose a test that I'm going to use to test the differences. Before I perform statistical test to test the differences, I have to perform the test for normality and also test for homogeneity of variance just like what we did in the previous lectures for the two independent sample tests. We are not going to discuss that again here. Let's say after we have performed the test for the assumption for normality and homogeneity of variance, and we found out that the assumption is violated, then we have to use the non-parametry test. In this case, we use the real cosine siren test. So the first step we need to do is to formulate our statistical hypothesis. So as other non-parametric hypothesis, we will not use the parameter in our statistical hypothesis and we're going to use a statement. Our no hypothesis is the right and left arms are the same length. The alternative hypothesis is the left and right arms are not the same length. So after we have formulated our hypothesis, the next thing is to set the criteria. We're going to refer to the Wilkerson siren test critical value table. So what we need to have is the alpha, whether it's one tail, two tail, and also the number of observation. So in this case, we decide our alpha is 0 0.05. And this is a two-tail test because you only want to test is there a significant difference. So it's two-tail test. And the N is, a, so a total of S student. We can get our critical value from the table. So our N is A, which is here. And we are going to perform two-tail test. And our alpha is 0 0.05. So in this case, our critical value is 3. Okay. For this statistical test. So again, we are going to reject the null hypothesis if the test score, the t, is less than the critical value. Similar to what we did for the Man Whitney U test. So before we get the test score, we have to calculate two value, which is the total of negative rank and also the total of positive rank. So the step involved are first calculate the differences between the pair variables. So this step is similar to the pair sample t-test to calculate the difference between the pair sample. After that, we have to rank the absolute value of the differences, assign the positive or negative sign 
according to the differences they calculated just now in the step one. Then sum all the positive sign absolute differences. Sum all the negative sign absolute differences after that. And then we choose the smaller one, whether it's the sum of the positive or negative sign as our test score. This is our data set. So the first thing is to calculate the difference between the pair variables. For the first one, 74 minus 72 is 2. 67 minus 64 is 3. 70 minus 67 is 3. 55 minus 58 is negative 3. And the same for the rest. After we have calculated the difference, then we have to rank them. So we have to rank the absolute value. So which is the smallest value? The second one is number 2. But there are two number 2 here. So what we can do, we just plus the rank, sum the rank. So it's 2 and 3. So 2 plus 3 divided by 2 is 2.5. So this one is 2.5, this one is 2.5. Then after that, we have the 3, including the negative 3. So we have to rank the absolute value. So they mean that we will ignore the negative sign when we assign the rank. So in this case, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 observation with the same difference value. So in this case, we have to distribute the rank. So in this case, it's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So what we need to do, we need to sum all the rank. 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 and then divide by 5 observations. So the result is 6. So all of them have a same rank of 6. This is as so the rank have been summarized here. Then the next thing is to assign the sign. All of these rank are the positive value except this one. So this one is from the negative value. Okay. So the next step is to sum all the positive rank. So we're going to sum all the rank, all the value here, except the negative one, because this is the sum for the positive. Just sum all the value, then we will get the total of 30. Then the next step is to sum the negative value. So in this case, you only have one rank, which is a negative sign. So it's number six. So our negative sign rank is 6. Then the next step is to decide which one will be our test score. So the test score is a smaller of these two values, which is in this case is number 6. So our test score is 6. So the next step is to compare the test score with the critical value. So the critical value that we obtained just now is number is is three. In this case, we are going to reject or not to reject. So you have to be careful. If our test score is smaller than the critical value, then we will reject. So in this case, our test score is larger than the critical value. So we will not reject the null hypothesis. That means that there is no significant difference between the left and right arm length.